Hello, another video from the Angry Photographer. I'm going to sh show you and tell you definitively what is going to be next year's technology. Um, well, it is the case that uh, Canon has uh, already mentioned uh, the introduction of uh, their EOS 5DSR DSLR. It's a 50 uh, megapixel, just a hair over. Um, Full frame uh, sensor is going to be using uh, CFast cards, obviously not cheap. There's a 256 gig card. It's going to have a hair over uh, four times the write speed as it must necessarily be the case to uh, store that enormous amount of information. Basically, you're going to be talking about a full frame camera with what is essentially a medium format to digital sensor. Obviously, $580 for a single CFast card. Is obviously very expensive. That price will obviously drastically reduce. Uh, Nikon is very quick on their heels. I know what Nikon's going to come out with. You can call me a liar if you want, but I promise you that if I'm lying, I'm dying. I know what they're going to come out with next. The, the next is going to be a replacement for the Nikon, which is horribly outdated. The Nikon a D4S, it's going to be a D5 or whatever designation they give it. It's probably going to be a hair more than 50 megapixels like the, uh, the Canon. This one is not out yet. But what is going to happen is that full frame bodies are going to be slowly phased out. What you're going to be left with is DX cameras, actually uh, the theoretical limit of the DX APS-C crop sensor has not reached its theoretical limit yet. It can be brought up to, uh, I think, what is 34, uh, 34, 35, 36 uh, uh, megapixel uh, in sensor, in the APS-C crop sensor. But what's going to happen is that the current, all current full-frame camera, like the D D810, D800, D600, Nikons, those are going to be phased out for the upcoming technology. As Canon has announced, what is the holdup. The technology already exists. The sensors already exist. What's the holdup? Well, you got the you got the buffer capacity. Nikon has it. So does Canon. They've already mentioned the introduction of this. They're waiting on the full release of these cards. Canon and Nikon are slaves to Lexar, to SanDisk, and others. I mean, you could have you know gigantic sensor in that damn camera, but unless you have the ability for uh, the buffer is not an issue either unless you have the ability to write to a card to store that enormous information and you have to sit on the fence Nikon is waiting to introduce their D5 uh, beginning or middle of next year it is coming it's gonna be a 50 megapixel camera it's gonna use these CFast cards which are of course heinously expensive but it's no big deal if you're if you're in business it's a tax write-off unfortunately what it creates is especially in portraiture what I call monster face and I'll show you in a second what monster face is but um, this is the next technology full frames are going to be phased out slowly but surely full frame currently is going to be uh, next year's late uh, next year's and late next year's version of a DX camera. It's like, oh, you got a D810? Oh, that old technology. You know, I've got a uh, 54 megapixel uh, D900X. It'll be, uh, you know, I don't know what they're going to name it, but I mean, it'll be something underneath uh, the introduction of the Nikon D5. The D4S is so insanely outdated. I mean, the Nikon D810 outdated the uh, D4S a long time ago. I mean, it's still sitting there at 6000 bucks. I mean, the only people who are buying it are fools and those that can write it off on their taxes or money is no concern. I mean, it's a fine camera, but it is just insanely outdated. Nikon uh, jump boat first, and they're the ones that stick their feet and announce, hey, this is what we got coming out. It's going to be it's pretty relatively cheap. Of course, unfortunately, it's a uh, Canon. I would never pay that for a recycled... Uh, recycled milk jugs with a sensor inside of it no offense but uh, you know it'll be a great camera um, there are already some test samples out there which uh, unfortunately has suffer from monster face but if you want to crop the piss snot out of an image it'll be perfect but what's going to happen next year is that current full frames will be start to slowly phase out the full frame is going to be uh, the next DX and here's the uh, compact uh, the CFast cards as they call them and I bring up some of the examples here. Boy, talk about a horrible shot. Can you believe somebody at Nikon? This woman is, you know it took them forever to put this on her face. She just looks so pissed. 
Let me show you what monster face is. Here's an example uh, from uh, the current uh, canon, which has not been released to the public yet. Let's just zoom in and show you what monster face is. You could take the most gorgeous looking model on the earth, and uh, you know it's great if you want to soften everything up and uh, you know crop the piss out of something. It's like, well, hey, you know, I just cropped out 30% of the photo. I mean, uh, I cropped away a 60% of the photo, and I still have something perfect enough to print out, you know, a freaking poster. Well, that's wonderful. Let's uh, show you what monster face is. Like, you take this beautiful woman, every little stinking flaw in her face, and every little teeny nose here, and oh my god, you know, she's got a mustache, and hey, that's no big deal, you know, take Photoshop, and oh, here's her makeup curling into the corner of her mouth. She's probably sitting there drooling on herself after they put all this stuff on her eyebrows and her head. I mean, she just looks horribly miserable. Some uh, photographer ought to be spanked for letting a, a model come off that uh, that lackluster, just uh, the absolute opposite of photogenic. I mean, she was probably before the two hours it took him to uh, actually uh, create that particular shot. Here's another example. I think it's the same chick. Let's come over here, look at some other examples. It's like, oh, God, here's a gorgeous woman. Let's uh, see what monster face looks like. This is taken with the Canon 50 megapixel sensor. Let's zoom in. Let's get in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can really crop the piss out of this one, all right? Let's look at uh, look at what defines monster face. Oh, my God. She needs her uh, lips waxed there a little bit. <laughs> um, big deal. Photoshop takes care of everything, right? Hey, the great thing is that you can, whatever the picture's like, if you want to crop the piss out of it, you know, you still got something that's going to make just an insanely sharp 20 by 30. Hey, that's fine. But Nikon and Canon are slaves to SanDisk and Lexar. SanDisk, of course, is going to dominate the world. I mean, Lexar is trailing behind. You know, SanDisk has already announced these cards. They're going to have four times the right speed. They're going to have enormous capacity. The only issue is going to be, obviously, the initial like, super insane expensive cost of the cards. And the fact that the cameras are going to be, you know, the cameras are actually ultimately going to be cheaper. They're going to be like 4000 bucks. But, you know, here in a year, year and a half, what's going to happen is that an Nikon D810 is going to look like a miserable uh, low megapixel beast compared to what Nikon is going to roll out. They're first going to roll out the D5, and then they're going to roll out uh, something else to replace the Nikon the D810. Ultimately, the question is, how much do you really need? But uh, let's uh, let's take a look here. But Nikon and Canon have been waiting on this for some time. They have the sensor, and all this is too. The important thing I actually wanted to get to is I told you the Nikon D seventy one hundred is, if it were scaled up to a full-frame sensor, is a 54.1, I believe, megapixel sensor. The uh, There's nothing special about these cameras other than their enormous buffer and their, their, their uh, super-fast processors. They were waiting on SanDisk. You know what this is? You know what this camera is and what Nikon's uh, D5 is? It is nothing other than a full-frame sensor with the density of, for example, the D7100. Like I said, if you were to scale up the D7100 sensor, it would be 54 megapixels. Uh, they probably curb this due to buffer or processor issues. The sensor that this Canon uh, EOS 5DR can actually produce is supposedly something near 60 megapixels. But because of buffer, processor speed, AD converter, to get it to be cranking out fast enough, they scaled the processor back from what I've been told, and that is not only perfectly plausible, it is 100% logical. This is what next year you're going to see from Nikon, and they're going to roll out one or two, definitely one, the replacement of the D4S. But all it is is nothing like, oh my god, here's a full frame sensor, 50 megapixels, something new. No, it's not really. All it is is an APS-C DX sensor that is the size of an FX. So it's an FX sensor with pixel density of uh, the same as a D7100. That's all it is. And Canon and Nikon are waiting on two things. Uh, to build the proper buffer and, and also the processor and uh, I've heard also the AD converter but also they're slaves to SanDisk. It's like okay we, we built the camera 
It's like building a car before you got the gasoline. It's like, we built this hot rod, but gasoline hasn't come out yet. You know, they're still working on it. And that's what's going on with Canon and Nikon. They're waiting on SanDisk to roll these out in mass. And when that happens next year, then things are going to fly. And current FX cameras are going to look like slow, low megapixel crap by comparison. I mean, there's no, no ifs, ands, or buts. Here's an example from the Canon 5DS. Let's bring out out to where it was. It's like, oh, that looks pretty good. And yeah, it looks pretty gorgeous. Not an awesome shot. Let's see how far we could blow the piss out of it. And, uh, oh, yeah, we got monster face there going on. She's got a lot of hairs in her nose. I mean, you know, the wonderful and awful thing about these is, is you can crop the hell out of them and still have a super sharp image, but you bet... <laughs> You better use a Photoshop retouching tool because the prettiest woman in the world at 100% on these 50 megapixel sensors, every one of them is going to look butt ugly, or as I call it, monster face. It's like you'd imagine what a normal person looks like at a 50 megapixel portrait shot. It's like, oh my god, you'd zoom in and you go, ah! <laughs> But this is really good, and this is what Nikon's coming out with next year. But like I said, they're slaves to... Sand disc. I said, just like inventing a car with no gasoline. It's like, oh, we got the car, we got the engine, we got the exhaust, we got the, we got it. We, where's the gas? We're still waiting on the gasoline. Sand disc is still cranking out the gasoline for these new automobiles that Canon's already announced one, and they produced some sample images. The cards are out there for purchase now, but as far as rolling them out, you know, price is still outrageously high. Um, you got to get readers, and uh, you know they uh, Nikon's working on getting. They're going to outdo. Nikon is happy that Canon announced first, because now that Nikon knows the specs and they can thump Canon's ass. But Canon's happy too because they're the first to announce that they got a new 50 megapixel sensor. But this really is nothing super incredible. I mean, it is. I mean, the images are mind fucking blowing. I mean, you look at these images and you go, "Oh my God, here's an image." Well, what can I do with this image? Okay, let's zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and zoom in. And you go, oh my God, where does it stop? It's still sharp as a hell. It's still sharp as a razor. Where does it stop? Okay, let's zoom some more. Let's zoom some more. I'm going to wait for the processor and my, uh, my uh, MacBook Air to catch up. It's like, you know, we are really tight in there. Really, really, really tight. So, you know, that's awesome, but this is not, someone's going, you're repeating yourself! Okay, whatever. Um, but this is nothing super abnormal. This is just a DX pixel density sensor that is the size of an FX sensor. Is that complicated? Nope. This is where next year's uh, DSLR technology will be. You can hang me from a rope, and you can drop me off of a bridge if I'm lying this time next year, or actually earlier than this time next year. But this is exactly where everything will be next year. A whole new breed of full frame. Current FX sensors are going to look... You know, these people... The only way Canon and Nikon stays alive is by constantly having to upgrade their stuff so that you'll set, you'll look at your current stuff that you just recently bought and go, oh my god, I got old crap, I gotta buy new crap. You know, you gotta feed the beast. I mean, Canon and Nikon, you know, they ain't paying for the bills by you being happy with your camera for years and years and years. Nikon and camera have got to keep you buying new crap. And, uh, you know, that makes SanDisk happy, and Lexar too. You know, they want your money, baby. Of course they want your money. You know, SanDisk and Lexar are happier than a pig in poop, happier than worm in a pile of poo. They cannot wait to sell you these expensive cards, and of course they'll be slowly dropping in price, just as compact flash cards did, just as uh, SD cards did. But uh, this is next year's DSLR technology. Um, it's... Uh, you think it's my conjecture, it's not. I guarantee you it's 100% exactly what to expect this time next year, if not a hair earlier. And uh, where DX uh, cameras go from here is a good question. Current FX cameras are basically going to be next year's DX cameras. Um, so, 
But uh, that's what's going to happen, folks, and that is next year's technology, and you've heard it here first, and I guarantee you that's exactly what's going to happen. Catch you later.